progress. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the True to Faith podcast. I'm your host, Cliff Stephen. If you don't know me, I'm a dad. I'm a Christian. I was born and raised in South Boston, Massachusetts, in the old colony projects. And, you know, I want to welcome all the new listeners, and I want to thank all the True to Faith 5 percenters, you know, for giving me your time. I appreciate it. Um, quick announcement. So rather than doing the podcast and releasing it that night, I'm going to release one every Thursday. I think that will make it a little bit easier. So I'm not shoving, you know, stuff down people's throats. You know, I'll just release once a week. Um, I'm going on a few podcasts. I'm going on Christian underground news network. Um, I'm going on the not so perfect Bigfoot show on YouTube. Um, Some some guests coming up, uh, author Karen Wilkerson from Stolen Seed. Our listener is going to be joining us, Matt Smith. And yes, we got a great guest tonight. I've heard him on a few places. Um, I heard him on our friend show, Josh, Josh Monday Christian Conspiracy Podcast. I heard a story and I wanted to talk to him and he was gracious enough to give me an hour of his time. Terrell Croft. Hey, Terrell. Thank you for having me. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. You, you're welcome to you, another brother in Christ, and I'm, I'm appreciative that you'd give me some of your time. Sure. I'm looking forward to sharing from The Mystery Explained. Yes. You, you, he's an author. He wrote the book The Mystery Explained, and he's going to kind of break it down, let us know some parts about it, with what it's about, what he's learned. He's. I know he has a lot of studying and research and so I'm excited. Okay. So where would you like to start? Well, that's what I was about to ask you. So it uh, depends on on your line of questioning. I'll be able to tell by your line of question. What would you like to know about the mystery explained? So my understanding, it's it's based on a, um, a star, correct? And when this star comes, things happen on the earth. Am okay. I, do I get that right? Um, let me, um, begin with a brief summary of myself and then my investigations. That'll help. help. No, that's okay. That'll help you to understand. So now I, now I can see what it is that you want. So I'm from a family of ministers and most of my family is ministers. My dad had seven brothers and half of them have their own churches and they're gone now. Now my cousins are running their churches and the other part of my family is military so that's that's kind of that's my kind of my background and okay. the um lord god started showing me these secrets when i was a kid it was my first experience mm-hmm. when i was only 4 years old and then as time went on and he brought me up then uh he put it into my heart to begin writing so before there was any such thing as the internet i was writing back and forth with scholars around the world on these different topics things that lord god had shown me the differences between the two gospels the the Gospel of the grace of God versus the gospel of the kingdom and the body of Christ and the bride of Christ and the different baptisms and things. And so um, he led me into, remember I was sitting on the eighth floor in London and writing to Dr. Clifford Denton from the Tishery. And we were going back and forth on first John chapter five and the Lord God was showing me something. I could see a door and my pen went down and it for three days that I prayed about that I could see something it was something really really big it was was a life-changing thing and he showed it to me and the door opened up and it swung open and it was like it was like infinity poured into a shot glass so what you see in the mystery explained this I didn't invent any of this stuff the Lord God just showed it to me and now I show it to you guys he showed me that the the key is in Genesis 1 1 the key is in Genesis 1 1 to unlock the entire Bible And the whole Bible is laid out according to the pattern of Genesis 1-1. So he showed me the spirit, the blood, and the water. Spirit, blood, and water. And everything is based on that. So the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirit, blood, and water. The family, the man, the woman, spirit, and water. And then the seed is the blood in between. Heavens, heaven, and earth. Spirit, blood, and water. And so... He began showing me the patterns, and I wrote the book, The Mystery Explained, actually in 2005. So that's long before Project Black Star. 
And I never expected to do the 9-11 investigation, for example. That took five years. That it was Everything was about God. Everything was about Scripture and about helping people to see His wisdom that's it's hidden right in front of us. And through His three witnesses, he's, He allows us to see it. So that book was written in 2005. It wasn't published in 2017 because I was giving it away for free for, for, you know, for a long time. And then once the, uh, that book was written, then he put it on my heart to know the truth about 9-11. I never thought I would go into, you know, being a conspiracy theorist kind of guy, you know, but, um, that's what happened. So for five years I did that and it culminated in the book, the 9-11 truth exposed in the Cheney Rumsfeld black operation. So, in studying the scriptures, then he taught me, Lord God taught me to keyword, to where the word faith is used, where grace is used, where righteousness and all these different words where they do not appear and where they appear a lot and seeing the patterns in scripture. So then I took that and began examining the 9-11 documentation, the FAA reports and the 9-11 commission report and all these different reports and found a myriad of inconsistencies, lies basically. And so wrote that book, and then that book was finished in 2010. Right after that, the Ellen and Comet was discovered. Ellen and Comet is 9-11 backwards. And so wow. its perihelion position, when it's nearest the sun, was, was um, September 11th, 2011. Okay, so there's the keywording again. And, and the, I could see that this is a PSYOP, but what kind of, what was it? What kind of a PSYOP was it? And it took me a while to realize there's something coming from space. So the same object that came from space that caused the flood of Noah's flood, the same one that caused the earth to stand still in the days of Joshua, the same thing that Paul's talking about, 1 Thessalonians 5, when he says that the destruction will come suddenly, like the birth pangs upon a woman with child. These things are all in what Christ says and what Joel 2 says, you know, with the moon and the signs and the stars. And Matthew 24 and Revelation Everything is tied to this thing coming from space. See, I didn't know that whenever I wrote The Mystery Explained or went through 9-11. And then through the Dakota Report, if you go to my website, then you can see the documentation and things that I'm talking about. But in the Dakota Report, keyworded that. And it was given to me by Jim Mars, the guy that wrote FBI, Fort Worth, Texas, in 2012. And in that, it explains the uh, Project Black Star. That's when I first saw Project Black Star in a sen sentence, in the first one of the first lines in the operations section of the Dakota Report. And then it talks about the genocide. And at, during just after that, just before that time, I was learning from Dr. Bill Deagle about this biological weapon and how it's going to be binary and activated. And then on top of that, the NASA 2025 documentation came out, the PDF. And it describes on page 93 the uh, the uh, swarm attacks on our carriers that are being set up right now, by the way. They're being set up for attack. Activation of the biological weapon, which is about to happen. And so people are carrying around this biological weapon from the SARS and from the VAX and everything, and they don't even know it. Yo. Okay, so when that's going to be activated. So all of my investigations that you see at tarot03.com and at tarot.substack.com, they're all connected. And God's word is the basis of it. That's where I began. And now Lord God has sent me out on these missions to understand the truth about this and the truth about this and then to bring it together and to share it in these newsletters. This is a Black Star Report newsletter and a Mystery Report newsletter program and to help people to wake up to what's really happening all around us and to prepare for, well, what Paul says, the destruction is going to come suddenly like the birth pangs of a woman child. So that's kind of where I'm at. And so the mystery explained part is to help you to see God's wisdom that's in his word. And it's right okay. in front of us already. It's, it's like the black star that's coming. Gravitational lensing effect, the micro lensing, means that it sits in a deep gravity well. It's kind of like a black hole. So if it's right in front of you, you couldn't see it. So I've worked with now half a dozen astronomers for, oh, for the last 12 years. And we know that we can't see it using observatory class t telescopes. God's word in his wisdom is the same way. So there's a pattern to all these things that, that all, it all makes perfect sense to me. And if he puts his hand on your shoulder, like the, the word mystery is dissected in my book, The Mystery Explained, Mysterion. It's things that are withheld and then revealed. And that's the way this whole system works. The whole program works is God showing us his wisdom, which is knowledge and wisdom is Christ, Colossians 2.2. 2. 
you and you are standing in one pers one position. I'm standing in a position. We all are, and we're looking through a particular facet. So yes. I see I see it from my perspective. So I can share from mine. But you have to share yours too. Everybody yes. listening. So whenever we stand around the lamb and we yes. all look at him as that jewel, we share what we see and what we're being taught through that one facet, and it becomes the angel song of Revelation. As so that angel song goes out, and you give have a part, I have a part, Josh has a part, right? And so we yeah. all testify together. So it's it's, it's we all complement one another. The Lord God doesn't give it all to any one person. He makes us dependent Mr. Croft, on one another. I love that you. I love that you said this because I hear so many truthers and Christians, right? And they bicker on their their. You know, well, this is how I see it, and you just laid it out so beautifully. Nobody is going to see the whole picture, and you you nailed it. We all bring our certain perspective that we see some of the truth, and if we bring it together. That's where we get the power. I, I love that. That's so beautiful. So we can all have, even the least among us can teach us something. Because they're, yes. they're speaking about, they're looking through a facet that we can't see. And they're going to say something that's going to make perfect sense to us at some point. It's important mm -hmm. that we share what the Lord God shares has shown us. And that we listen to what all of our brethren are saying. Because in all that those deliberations and all that we're sharing back and forth, then we're going to eventually see the whole picture as long as we all hold our hands together and we work together and we're focusing on Christ. That's the way everything uh, is. That's the way every, that's the way God set it up for us. I love that. Um, cause Mr. Croft, that's why I had you on is because, um, I mean, I love your story. I like your book. I like your work, but, um, the, the part where you know, you're trying to warn of what's coming. And I, I truly believe so many people don't see it. But the Lord also put it on me on 2012. Cliff, start getting ready. Start learning. And I started learning about, like, the Luciferian agenda and these global elites. And I truly, too, believe that the reckoning is coming soon. And, you know, you could prepare as best as possible, but like people don't even have some dried food. Like they don't even have the basics. And I really think when, when things go bad, a lot of people are going to be in a bad place. And I love that you see it so clearly because I also see it so clearly. And if you just look around, like all these, you know, global elites, quote unquote, you know, they're all building bunkers. You know, you see the videos on YouTube where the truck drive is pulling into a mountain and it says five million square feet and the drivers are saying, yeah, we're delivering food here every day. You know, they know something's coming. They're trying to hide and hedge their bets and hedge their lives. And, you know, people really need to wake up to that fact. That's what my ministry is trying to do. Mm. So the truth is, in a very simple nutshell, we're living in a 2012 Deep Impact Contagion movie. Hmm. And it's real. And it even has a twist of the body, the invasion of the body snatchers. Because there's a, there's a transhumanism agenda that's being yeah. fulfilled in what, in, this vax has components that change people. And there's a, there's a interview that I did with Tina Griffin, Counterculture Moms. If you go to my Substack page, then you can watch the hour long TV version of that. There's more information shared in that video than anywhere else. And much of it I learned from a fellow named Billy Hayes. So I was the leader of Terrell's research group back in 2011, 12, and 13. 365 people. And it included gifted physicists. It included Billy Hayes in particular. He built 200 of the heart facilities around the world. And he set me down and he taught me about what's really happening here. There's a heart carrier wave that is maintained around this planet and AI is able to create billions of subfrequencies on that carrier wave and communicate with the nanobots that are inside of us. They've been sprayed on us using chemtrails for decades and they couldn't integrate everybody into a real world simulation. I know this sounds crazy, but it's true. I learned about it more than a decade ago and anticipated everything that's happening now. That's what's happening. So their AI is the one that is manipulating the nanobots and he is taking our bio data and creating feeds for hosts in a real world simulation. It's a baseline simulation. It's like the matrix and the people in there think they're real. They really do. And at some point 
The objective is to reverse the feed and control us using the host. So he takes this baseline sim and he creates other sims, futuristic sims. He changes one thing and then runs the threat assessment. And he changes one thing in a million different sims using this same baseline. And he's able to, AI is able to identify threats to the underground Arc City program. That's what this is all about. This movie that we're in, the elite are running, they're getting ready right now. We're coming to the 90 degree angle position relative to the black star. Nearest, the uh, nearest proximity is going to be June the 3rd in the first half of the day. Okay, and I know that from doing this research, the recent quake, it was 7.6 Philippines quake, December 2nd. That was predicted six months in advance. Whenever that, whenever that hole was torn in the ground in the Philippines, the Earth crossed the Black Star Sun center line. Okay, and that was predicted, like I said, in another interview and in all, in all of my reports to the practically the moment that it was going to happen. Okay, 1400 UTC. And whenever that happened, there was a hole torn in the sun. If you just search December 2nd, you'll see a gigantic hole opened up and closed. It was because we were in the straight line with the black star and the on the far side of the sun. And there was an electromagnetic jolt that the Earth received at the moment that we came into alignment. So I went back to the last cycle and the last in the previous orbit cycle and counted the number of seconds and then saw the the diminishing value and was able to calculate when we're going to be nearest to the black star and the math says it's going to be June the 3rd in the first half of the day. I'm pretty darn sure that's going to happen. Okay. Wow. So, so whenever we that get, makes sense, that yeah. timeline. And you know, you know what blows my mind is that when I listened to you on Josh Monday's program and you told how you moved to a place in the United States where you think it's the highest because there's going to be a lot of flooding. And right after I heard you say that, I seen a video where, you know, they were talking, they were showing a map of where they thought it was going to flood. And just by coincidence, Bill Gates bought up all the farmland on all the high places, which blew my mind. I literally seen it the day after I heard you say that. Will you kind of speak on that about how you moved to the high ground and the, you know, the reason why you believe that's where it's not going to flood? Um, well, I'm in the Ozarks. The Ozark Mountains in the center part of the United States. In the six county area of northwest Arkansas, the elevation is above 1,000 feet in all six counties. Whenever you go outside, now we can go outside of those six counties just a little ways, but it goes from 1,000 feet, or where I'm sitting at is 1,400 feet. Okay, but in Harrison, Arkansas is our home base city, 1,200 feet. But whenever you go just, you know, very 10 miles to the east, it drops down to 500 feet. So this, this region right here of the Ozarks is almost protected. It sticks up above everything else that's around it, and it causes the low pressure areas to go around us. We seem to get missed by the storms. And a lot of people, you know, the, even the locals in the stores will tell you that. You know, we seem to get missed by the storms. And so it was determined that the Ozarks was the safest place to be by my research, you know, back in 2012. For, I, I moved here in 2011 and lived here for almost three years back then. Then I realized the Black Star is not coming for a while. I went back to Florida and then recently relocated here in March of 2020, whenever this COVID thing started, because it really made me scared that they were going to lock everything down and then I wouldn't be able to relocate. So I went ahead and made the move. We bought a place here and um, just installed bars on the windows, by the way. Not because there's a crime problem here. There's not. But activation day is coming. If you go to my sub stack, all, all these illegals coming across they're using them for a reason. Yep. So part of them are terror cells that are going to be activated. And they're going to attack our police stations, our sheriff's offices, the um, the banks. Once they take the sheriffs and the police out and the hospitals and the food processing, they've already been hitting the food processing places. And anything yes. that processes fuel. So that is what's going to happen. And they know that it's going to happen. This is going to cause the chaos. So they're running to the underground cities while this is this chaos is happening. The power's going to go off. The water's going to go off. The internet's going to go down. It's going to come back in a limited way just so they can manipulate us and control us. Food is going to be extremely short. Food. Yes. And there's about one, if my numbers are correct, about one out of every 10 people in the United States is an illegal right now. Okay? There was 20 to 30 million before, and now under Biden, 12 to 15 million have come across that border. 
since he took office. Okay, and um, that's a very long story. The the uh, catch and bus program originally started under Abbott, by the way, in 2014, the year he took office, and that was the Obama Biden catch and bus program. The CIA is working with the cartels, and the CIA has been destabilizing the countries. If you wonder why there's people from 150 nations coming, it's because of food. The food has been destabilized globally, and so these people aren't given a choice. They, this is the only answer that they have is to come to the United States. But now the United States is going to be like the U.S. Titanic. So we're going to there because of all the people coming and their lack of resources that it's about to become plainly evident. There's going to be not enough food. Then it's going to cause Mad Max to explode all over the country until everybody demands martial law. Thing is, they're running war games right now. And yeah. from February to May, the longest war games we've ever participated in, 90,000 of our troops are going to be put overseas. It's getting ready to happen. But these the people, these these 40,000 Chinese have come across the border since the 1st of January. They're somewhere. They're on, there are many of them on our military bases. So they're going to be, they're being trained right now. We're talking about troops from Afghanistan, from Iran, from Russia, from China. They're already here. They're, yeah. And then the, our people are going to be taken out. They're, these people are going to be put in uniforms. And then the bad guys, if you watch the movie Dragon Day, it's kind of like that Dragon Day scenario where our chips are going to be turned against us. The power is going to come down and things like that. So that's what I'm preparing for. Yeah. You, you can catch up really fast if you go to my Substack page. There's tons of articles there, videos. And you, listen to Michael Yawn. He's a uh, former... Um, military, black operator type guy. He was sent into destabilized countries uh, before an attack. And he says the earth is being, uh, the earth, the United States is being destabilized right now, right now for an attack. And he's going to, first one's going to tell you, Governor Abbott is the commander of the illegal alien invasion. So that we're being tricked. And the, the military bases are full of illegals right now. They're being housed by the NGOs all over the United States. So these hotels and everything, you can't get a room there. Yep. They're, they're filled with illegals. And they took the signs down and everything. Yep. And so that's happening. We're being tricked. And then the media is being used to keep us calm and thinking everything's okay. So watch um, March 11th is going to be a key day for the banking system. The Fed is going to stop backstopping the, uh, the, the troubled banks. And there's going to be a collapse shortly after that. That's going to happen. So... We're being set up, well, and so we need to work together as much as possible, and um, that's that's part of my message. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, and and that one thing alone, I I suggest if you're watching this podcast or listening it, and you hear us, you hear this stuff, and you're like, "There's no way," go look at the attacks on the food processing plants for the last ten years. Planes were hitting them, bombs going off, mysterious fires all over America. Just start there. It's so obvious. And I know it sounds insane, but if you just open your eyes, you know, talk to God, you, you'll be able to see it. In the end, there's nothing to fear. If you if you believe in God and you're saved by Jesus Christ, there's nothing to fear. But this stuff is going to happen. And, you know, that was one of the things that got me down the rabbit hole was the food processing plants. It absolutely blew my mind. And like you said, with these illegals, you know, they're giving them all this stuff to come here. They're going to shut their money off. You know, New York saying 10000 giving $10,000 to any illegal. And, you know, it, it's going to get crazy, you know. And I've been telling people to buy dried food. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to do, but at least you'll have food. Because once people can't feed their children, people are not going to act civilized. They're going to they're going to probably act like animals but i commend you i i'm so happy that you you were blessed enough to move i tried to get my ex-wife to move in 2012 to get some farmland and stuff and she just thought i was crazy and we're divorced now but i'm at the point you know i would have loved to get some land and had done it that way but my daughter's here so i'm gonna ride the storm out here you know i do got some some food and some supplies but I, I just this this message is so important. And, and like I said, God's been putting it on my heart since 2012. 
And then when I started learning, I mean, it's, it's so obvious, like you just laid it out perfectly. It's 100% what's going on. And all you got to do is open your eyes. Yeah, it's, it's the truth is stranger than fiction. It is difficult to believe. And if I set you down and explain everything, your head would likely explode. And that's yeah. not my, what my intention. So if you go to, well, first of all, if you, if you subscribe to the Black Star Report newsletter and the Survival Group program, then you're going to get your threat assessment information as a PDF attached to your notification email. That's only $50 a year. And you get a free copy of my book, The Mystery Explained, the EPUB version for your Kindle. That's going to be attached to it. Then whenever you read the threat assessment and you realize, oh my goodness, the biological weapon, then whenever you get your nano silver, you get the extended version of the Mystery Explained. And then and when you get your nano silver, you get $600 worth for $100. And I pay for the shipping, USPS. So you'll get all the information. If you want, then I can take it, show you the website. I can show you Substack and show you some of those articles where you can go and get information. So it's just a pile of information, a lot of information. And then with, what, the, with the time left, if you want me to, and I'll show you the mystery explained. Uh, can I just ask you one question? Sure. And then we'll get into that. What is the assessment? Um, what, like, what is it? Is it assessment of your area? What, you know, what, what is the assessment well, consist of? The Black Star is the biggest threat. The Black Star okay. is going to get too close to our planet and it is going to cause a series of geological pole shifts. So okay. a geological pole shift means that this black star is going to get so close to our planet that it wrestles magnetic polarity control from the sun. Whenever that happens, the Earth is going to be, the North Pole is going to be repelled by the black star. So the black star has magnetic repulsion relationship with our sun. So it's like from the southern hemisphere and our sun's from the northern hemisphere. And they have reversed magnetic polarity. And they have a binary star magnetic repulsion relationship, which was just recently discovered, by the way. And so what that means is that the smaller star, which is the black star, slows down inbound orbital velocity as it's coming in. And then it gets locked in orbit. It has to do with a monopole-dipole switch, and it's really difficult. It's science. It's very difficult to try to explain. But this black star is on a long elliptical orbit. But whenever it gets close enough, then there's a switch, and then it goes on a circular orbit. And it comes around. It energizes itself, and it turns the sun dark for three days. When it re reaches perihelion position, that's in the scriptures, All right? The sun's going to turn dark. The moon's not going to yeah. give forth this light. Okay. Then it swings on around. This black star is gathering all the electromagnetic energy that it needs for an entire orbit cycle, which the entire period is 3,600 years. So, it came to the inner solar system during the days of. Like I said, the days of Noah and Moses is recharging itself. And whenever it swings around orbit and it's facing the Gemini constellation, then it's going to be repelled. The switch is going to flip back from the, the um, monopole back to dipole. That means it's going to, it's two stars are going to be way too close to each other. And then the, our sun is going to expel the black star from the inner solar system magnetically. And it's going to be shoot away from the black star. And then it's, it's it has all the energy it needs for, 3,600 years, and then it's going to return at the end of the age to fulfill Matthew 24 and Revelation. So we are witnesses of how the day of the Lord is about to begin. In 3,600 years, Matthew 24 is going to be fulfilled in Revelation when the black star returns on the next black star orbit cycle. And I realize most people think that we're at the end of the age. Now, we're nowhere near the end of the age yet. Paul is describing how the day of the Lord begins. And Second Peter chapter three verse eight. Do not let this fact escape your notice that to the Lord a day is as a thousand years. The day of the Lord that's coming up is a long period. It's not an event. It's a long period. And okay. so Paul is the only one that understands who was given to see how the day of the Lord begins. See the the devil had to be tricked. So God had to keep these things that are according to the mystery, which that's what my book's about. He had to keep these things hidden in himself so the devil wouldn't know. So his minions wouldn't know. That way, when Christ came, they would kill him. So God offered him up. But if they knew about the body of Christ, if they knew about our redemption through his shed blood, they would have never killed him. So God had to keep everything about the gospel and our body of Christ. And our we're going to judge the world and the angels, right? Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 6, started 2. And we're going to be raised in incorruptible glory. 
you know, uh, first, yeah, first Corinthians 15 started 51 and the, behold this mystery that we're, we're all going to change. And that's, what's going to happen in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, because we're going to be at our darkest moment. And the Lord God's going to step in and save us. That's what's going to happen. Otherwise, just like it's not the same thing, but almost like Christ says in Matthew 24, that if the days weren't shortened, no flesh would survive. Nothing would survive on this planet. This biological weapon is engineered for the genocide of everything on this planet. It's killing deer out in the forest. It's killing whales in the ocean right now. It's replicating inside of them. It's changing their, their DNA. It's, this uh, biological weapon behaves like a retrovirus. It works backwards. So it's, it's assembling amino acids onto proteins and then RNA. It's stringing itself together inside our cells, outside the nucleus. And then it is invading the nucleus and, and commandeering the cell. And then it's dividing and it's becoming us. So eventually the immune system looks at that and says, that's not you anymore. And it starts killing us. So eventually mm -hmm. everybody dies from immune system disorders. And the immune systems actually wipe out the host. That's what's happening right now all around us. That explains why people are getting sick and they can't seem to get to be cured. And um, so anyway, this is happening in slow motion all around us. At our darkest hour, the Lord God is going to come in and save us. For me, then I prepare physically to the best of my God-given ability as a survivalist and spiritually to the best of my God-given ability. I really, in my heart of hearts, I want to be part of that group that's the living. So it's the, mm. the dead are going to be raised first, and then we who are alive and remain are going to be caught up with them. Well, it seems to me that a whole bunch of those that are us that are walking around are about to join the dead and be raised first. I really, really want to be one of those that are among the living to be like Elijah. And, and in my mind, in my research, then we're going to get an emblem, you know, like an ephod on our, ch yeah. our chest plate. And we're, we have little symbols on our chest plate. And we have jewels in there. And there's going to be a sign of Elijah for those of us that never saw death. And I want that. I really want mm -hmm. that. And I want to run this race as to win, man. I want to win. Help as many people see God's wisdom and help as many people survive as possible. So then when, whenever God looks at us and we're being judged, and he can, he's going to pick one of us. Paul says to run the races to win, man. Only one receives the prize. And I'm going to be that guy, if at all possible. And I hope there's somebody out there that wants to try to beat me to the finish line, you know, because I, <laughs> I could use your help. You know, if you're a rich guy and you want to get a big cave here in the northwest Arkansas, then you could have the opportunity to help tens of thousands of people, you know, right now. So um, mm. that's kind of where we're sitting right now and with the investigation. So w where would you like to go from here? Wow. That's well, if you do find this rich guy to get this cave, please, I would love to join the group. If yeah. I can take my daughter. <laughs> I would really like, I would love to be able to give you guys that opportunity i've been looking for that person for the last 12 years I have not run across that person yet we do have a land acquisition committee there's 50 to 60 members on there but what they're doing is is they're they're forming their own councils and their own groups and they're going off and they're doing things in secret so they wow. they may have a big cave somewhere maybe there's yep. two or three groups in there but what they're afraid of is that i'm going to let the you know the secret out of the bag and ruin their what they're trying to do they're afraid i'm going to try to help the whole world you know and bring everybody in there so um the you'll get whenever you get your threat assessment information then you'll there's instructions on how you can join and we already have a big giant cave we just don't have official permission to use it so i know wow. the manager of the cave it used to be a show cave it's in the middle of nowhere you could drive two semi trucks side by side into the thing so we have wow. a we have a cave and it, it can hold fifty thousand people do not have official and the owner that lived down in South America died. So if I, if I had the, the funds, I would buy it, but I don't. And I don't have the resources. I have the knowledge. But I don't have the resources. So if somebody came along that could help us to do that, then they would be in the driver's seat and we'd, we'd build a statue of them and put it out front because he has the opportunity to help so many people. So yeah. um, maybe, you know, maybe that kind of thing will happen. So, um, well, I love that idea because I, I, you know, I had that idea as well, but um, I, I'm fortunately from, you know, a poor neighborhood. I don't really know that many people who would be able to, you know, throw in to buy a farm. But, you know, I, that was my plan for a while is to try to hopefully get a few people together, maybe get some land, you know, up in New Hampshire in the mountains. But, uh, yeah, it didn't go too well, but it's a great idea. And, 
you know, I, I commend you to try to finish the race and that you're going for the, you know, the top spot in God's glory. That's, you know, I, I think they're going to need people like you, you know, in these rough times to help lead people and stuff. And, you know, my, my I guess my plan is I'm just going to battle it out here in Massachusetts and, you know, try to survive as long as I can and protect my daughter as long as I can. But when my time's up, you know, I'll go meet Jesus in heaven when the time's right. And, you know, that's my plan. And then we'll see each other there on the other side. Amen, brother. Yeah. Okay, so where would you like to go from here with our remaining time? Um, I can share uh, I can share my desktop. I can show you diagrams. I can show you images from my book, The Mystery Explained. I can take sure. you to my Substack page. If you you want me to hit the sh share screen button. Uh, yeah, let me just um, let you do that because... Okay, I'm going to push the button right now. All participants, all participants. All right, it says okay, host. You should be able to share. Okay. Okay, can you see my desktop? I can. Okay, and so I can open this up. I've got this on full screen. And if you look down here, you see I'm in 36 minutes right now. This is my website right here. And this is where you can get your nano silver. I highly recommend you watch this presentation. This lady explains about nano silver. This was made in 2019 before COVID. Really, really smart. There are dozens of health benefits. And this is my interview right here. That's Tina Griffin. This is the interview. It's free. You can all everything you see here you can do for free you can click on this and watch that interview this is part one you get the full TV version you get the two hour and 40 uh, 15 minute version uncut from start to finish whenever you get your nano silver okay this is just a little you get this much nano silver it's in concentrate form and you get all this right here for a hundred dollars you can make 12 liters of nano silver with what I send you for a hundred dollars you're going to get a notification email that has all the information that you need. It's an education on combating the biological weapon. And then this is the Black Project Black Star investigation about the super plume. We haven't talked about that. The uh, project overview, Project Black Star overview, the quake predictions that have been made, biological weapon, the VAX, 5G activation, things like that. This is everybody's going to want some small domination silver. The dollar's about to be killed. And you can get small domination silver, one ounce buffalo rounds and things right now. Like, really, really great deal. These just can one, I just say some just one. God's call. been putting that on my heart as well. Like um, five years ago, I started buying silver for that same reason. I God was putting it buy silver, buy silver. Mm -hmm. Sadly, something happened. I had to sell it all. But I, I agree, people should have silver or gold because. The paper is not going to be worth nothing but toilet paper. That's right. And you're going to need something solid to trade. Um, the nano silver. So that's that's basically sil. It is silver, right? Yes. It's a. And it helps the body cleanse itself. Oh, it is like a miracle for people. So I mean, it's just a long list of things that it does, and it's a nano silver sodium borate regimen. Sodium borate regimen. And you get all the details on all that. And like I say, dozens of health benefits. It's used internally and it's used externally. And it's like a miracle. Just begin by listening to this lady right here. Okay. She'll explain it. And then whenever you order, then you're going to get, I'm not kidding you. It, it'll take you some time to go through all of the information. So here's the Black Star event timeline. And whenever I go to Substack, then I'll show you more on that. But I know you want to know more about the nano silver. This is the crossing date right here. All of these quakes were predicted in advance. The only one that wasn't with this Chile quake, this Fukushima quake was in, within four days was predicted using only two months of data. All of these were predicted in advance. And this last one was, this one was predicted to the day it happened and on the backside too. Okay. This is my book, The Mystery Explained Information. Here's a little scripture section. Watch these little introductory videos. And then the silver right here. You mentioned my name. You get a discount on every coin. These guys know me at Miles Franklin. Andy Sheckman. That he knows me really, really well. And I'm an affiliate there. And you, you get a discount for everything that you get there. And then these, the, here's where you subscribe. Right here, it's only $25 a year for these basic programs. Just $50 a year for the advanced programs. And you get free a copy of my book. 
our interview is going to go here. Josh's and yours will be added first thing in the morning. And you can get a free Black Star Report newsletter right here and a free Mystery Report newsletter right here. Just click on it, download it, and you'll see what these programs are about. Subscribe here when you want to. Okay, and here's and what is what is the website name for this where you're at now? It's my name, Terrell T E R A L zero three dot com. Okay. Yeah, because I'm definitely getting some of that silver. If somebody started to get sick, would it would it still help you if you like say I start getting sick from this bioweapon, then I would start taking it, or do you take it beforehand? Oh no, you it, you're going to be on a regimen. So this is a weight chart regimen. Everything okay. is very precise with the nano silver. So I'm almost 200 pounds, so I take nine doses a day, one teaspoon doses a day. Okay. So when I get up, I want to go to bed, and then seven in between. So right here on my desk, I have in a in a cardboard sleeve my. This is what I take my daily doses when I'm working. I have a two ounce bottle with 12 doses I carry when in my pocket when I go to town, and there's one in my bag in case I forget. And I have one in my nightstand, and it's just part of my routine now. I've been doing it for the last three years. Well, since March of 2020, and so it becomes automatic after a while. But just dozens of health benefits. Just can't. Um, you can do the research on nano silver. It's just it's yes. this, it's, this, it's a silver bullet against this this biological weapon. So this is where you write to me, tarot at tarot03.com. And you don't have to use Stripe and PayPal if you don't want to. You can use Zelle. You can use Cash App. Just write to me right here and tell me what it is that you want, and I'll get your notification out there to you just as fast as possible. Okay, so now let's go over here to Substack, and this is helping Jennifer, Dr. Anna. This Dr. Anna, I was really trying to help her to help people. Clifford, I worked with Clifford Carnicom at the Carnicom Institute. I worked with him back in 2011 and 12, and I want to help them to see the light. So this is a good article. To uh, It's scriptural, and it's about 9-11, and it's helping people see the big picture of what's going on. This is my debate from today with Josh. And you can see this is Dr. Jason Dean. He's interviewed me three times now on this biological weapon topic. So this is, uh, you know, these type of debates Mr. here. Mr. Croft, can I ask you a question? Sure. So you're a scientist, right? When you finally started looking up 9-11 and you started realizing what it was, did it affect you strongly, like being like, Whereas you were a scientist, so you must have been like just a normal guy. Like, did it did it shock you? Like, were you overwhelmed for a month? Like, what what? How'd you feel when you realized what it really was? Well, you're talking 2006, 2007, eight, nine, ten, and see, here's a FBI special agent Chris Combs and Fire Chief Schwartz manipulated the Pentagon fire, and they killed people. These people right here, they're murderers for sure. So I can't say that I was uh, shocked. Um, the truth is so much different than what you're being told on the television. Here's the empty Shanksville field, just for an example. So okay. here, here's a picture. I mean, right here. This is what they say is a 100-ton jetliner. You yeah. see any 100-ton jetliner? It's BS. Yeah, the whole thing is. Yeah. And so, so you, the, you go, the whole flight 93, that was just to make people feel patriotic. Like, look, they fought the, they rushed the cockpit, but it, they really didn't. And people get angry me, with me about this, but yeah. this is the government exhibit right here. You know what this is? This hole, this is from the diamond T mine. So there's a picture down here. This is the trash that they just set on fire. That's the fire truck. They're not even looking into the hole. They're over there messing with the fire truck. This was set on fire to make it look this way. But there's an image here. This right, this hole right here. This is the diamond T mine that they did a cut just to see if there was anything there. And there wasn't. So it's failed. Here's the image right here from 4-20-1994. You can see the cut right there. That's the hole right there. So I've done the research on all this stuff. There's a guy walking in the in the hole right there. There's no plane here. I can tell you, but I know exactly what did happen. What did happen was the there was two Canadian jets that shot down an airliner, and it was spread. the The debris trail was ten miles from here all the way to New Baltimore, and their engines and everything. But that jet was a Global Guardian War Game jet. Okay, so I, I'm not kidding you. I've done all the research and all this, the, the minute details in my book. Chapter 11, there are 100 events, the top 100 events of 9-11. Some of those are separated by hundreds of seconds. So I'm a meticulous timekeeper, 
you know, a lot of my family's Navy. And my brother was on the USS Iwo Jima. My nephew is a recruiter right now for the Navy. And so timekeeping, timelines is part of all my books. And this one, mm. especially, this here is, is April Gallup. I interviewed her. And the um, the taxi driver, the 69-year-old taxi driver, he might be dead now. He probably is. Um, Lloyd England. I interviewed him, too. His wife was an FBI agent. They didn't even know what happened until I put it, connected all the dots and I helped them to see exactly what happened. So this is just one of the articles, and this is just on Flight 93 and, you know, helping to connect, you know, the dots on that. And so you guys can come here and read all this. This is all free. You guys can, wow. if you want to support me, if you have resources, I hope you will. But it's my goal to get the information into the hands of everybody possible. And so people, that, um, Lord God sends people along that support me, you know, at Substack and subscribe to my newsletter and things like that. So as long as the Lord God, you know, I've, I've got enough money to get by and everything, then I want to try to give everything um, for free if possible. This here is Sabrina Wallace. She is a gifted woman and she's very special. Her parents were special. She was part of a DARPA program and she is really, really smart. She's a perfect member for Terrell's Research Group. I highly recommend her. Um, to everybody. You see there's more articles probably here on Sabrina. She helps people understand how the biological weapon works inside of people. Here's the full version, the TV version of that interview. You guys are going to want to check that out. A lot of wow. important information. That's the one hour version. You, again, you get the two hour, 15 minute uncut version whenever you get your nano silver. And then here's my round earth thing <laughs> down here. And then Zachariah 20, um, 1210. So you see there's mystery explained things here, my diagrams. Biological weapon here. This is a uh, 9/11. So that's uh, there's a lot of different kind of content. Everything is connected. Everything, yep. if everything you're seeing here is connected, you're living in that 2012 Deep Impact movie, and it's real. This is my YouTube channel. You can come and subscribe here. It's not used a whole lot. My Black Star YouTube channel was taken down. I lost eight years worth of work there when that happened. I did my best for that not to happen, but it finally did. And then here's a page, my book, The Mystery Explained, you can get on Amazon. And here's a little synopsis of, of what it shares. And so from here, we can go in any direction that, that uh, this is what I have to show you. I also pulled up some diagrams, if you would like. Yes, I'd love it. Okay, this is from my book, The Mystery Explained. And this is one of the early diagrams there's only a couple before this one showing you how to set up this is my book this is God's book and this is your book this is spirit this is blood this is water my book is a servant God's book is the book the spirit witness okay then you are you're in, you're given instructions you're told to read the Pauline epistles three times you're to underline all the personal pronouns in different colored ink so there's a this is a manual and there's a process that was developed and that's what I'm sharing with you so in in the book some people will do all the steps and it helps you to see God's wisdom and some mm. and some people won't so this is how everything starts off in Genesis 1 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and so this is three witnesses of spirit blood and water this is the key to unlock the entire Bible when you realize that it's spirit, blood, and water. So whenever we go, I'm going to move you up just a little bit. What you realize is, is that all of those images that I just showed you are singularities. From those singularities come three witnesses, each one of them. So from God, God's three witnesses are testifying in Revelation 1.8. God who is, God who was, and God who is to come, the Almighty. Revelation 1 8. The three witnesses of the Word, they're testifying from Matthew 28 19. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three witnesses of Spirit, blood, and water. Three witnesses of Spirit, blood, and water. Then the earth is broken into the waters above and the waters below, the firmament, which is heaven. So these are three witnesses. You line these three witnesses up, just like this, and you can see that this is a tabernacle. A tabernacle wow. is three witnesses of spirit, blood, and water. It has the same image of a man. So whenever wow. God who is, 
God who is is speaking in Genesis 1.26, and he says, let us make man like us. That's what he's saying. So God who is is speaking to God who was and God who is to come. So God who is to come is like a prophet. God who was is like a priest. God who is, he's the eagle of the three creatures, living creatures. See, there's really three living creatures that testify for the Almighty. But there's four living creatures in Revelation, right? One of them has the face of a man. That face of a man is Christ. He stands in front of these three living creatures. I show those in diagrams in my book. So these are three witnesses of the Almighty. These are three witnesses of the Word. And most people, uh, maybe not most people, but a lot of people, they believe that my Father who art in heaven is God. My Father who art in heaven is the spirit witness of the Word. He's one with the Son. And the Son is one with the Holy Spirit too. You see, you draw a circle around the Father and the only begotten Son. It's a complete circle. There's a complete circle around the Son and the Holy Spirit, too. Okay? So I and the Father are one. You can see that right here and right here. But also, the Word is one with God. See the circle? Yeah. So, okay, so what you have with this one verse is laid out in tabernacle form in John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word. So the Word's heaven. In the beginning where the Word is the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God, was God. which is the wow. aorist tense. And what that means is the word is God in perpetuity. That's what it really means in the Greek. But anyway, in this, for this here, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God, is God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things, heaven, heaven, and earth, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Right here, so the heavens, heaven, and earth. So in reality, when you get further into my book, you'll see that God is like the infinite shell of an egg. This heaven is like the white of the boiled egg. And the earth is like the yolk of the egg. So this is, in, this is contained inside of this, and this is contained inside of this in reality. But this is laid out in tabernacle form. That's how God deals with us through the temple, through the tabernacle of Moses, through men, like the uh, Gentiles through Meth Methuselah, for example, always through a tabernacle. And then you and I, we're living tabernacles. We are spirit, blood. We're spirit, blood, and water. We are spirit, soul, and body. And in us is the same exact thing, the Son of God wow. incarnate inside of us, and God is incarnate inside of him. So if we go through enough of these diagrams, so this is by page number. Page 23 is this one in the book, The Mystery Explained. Then the temple is laid out in this exact pattern that I just showed you. The Holy, yeah. holy of Holies, the Holy Place, and the court. And they each have yeah. their own furniture, the ark, the altar of incense, and the brazen altar here, and the, bra the, the, bra the, the bra brazen sea. Yeah, the bronze laver, if you will. Oh, okay. so, so even when you get to the throne of the Lamb, you'll see that there's a sea of glass. All of this are symbols of things that are in heaven. Everything that you see here is a symbol of something that's in heaven. So this shows how a believer obeys the gospel. So the faith of Jesus, that's Romans 3, 26. The, it says faith in Jesus in the translation, but what's really being shared there is the faith of Jesus. This is a physical possession, and it has this is the blood witness part. The spirit of his word comes with it. And the Holy Spirit of promise from Ephesians 1, 13, 14. Ephes um, the Holy Spirit of promise. See, this is a man. And this is what comes from the preacher into the believer when we obey the gospel. Obedience of faith. Okay, it's by faith. It's a faith to faith transaction. Romans 1, 16, 16 17. Okay, so this new man comes from God. He sends the preacher. We hear the gospel. We obey the gospel, and into our soul, the Son is incarnate. The, the Holy Spirit of promise, the Father, communes with our spirit. The Holy Spirit is in our physical body. The Son is incarnate within our soul. And that's what this diagram right here shows, our new inner man. Paul calls it the new man. Or in Colossians 1.27, Christ in you, the expectation or the hope of glory. Okay? Then the next thing to realize is, is that God is in Christ reconciling the world to himself. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. 
Okay, so whenever God rested in Genesis 1, in verses uh, Genesis 2, 1 through 3, the Lord God started his work. Well, whenever he, he rested, he rested in his son, because his son is the Lamb of God who began working with this on the seventh day to do his consecration work. So this picture shows God in Christ in me. I'm a living tabernacle with Christ in me, and Christ in me is a living tabernacle for God who is in him. So when I'm looking at you, Christ is looking at you too from inside my soul, and God is looking at you too from the inside of that's how God's going to judge the world and the angels. And, but, but he says, we're going to judge the world and the angels, right? Paul says, don't you know that you're going to judge the world and the angels? The reason that we're going to judge the world and the angels is because the man came out of the angel, the man, like the woman came out of man. So in order to get a complete human living soul, you have to put the woman back inside the man and put the man back inside the angel. And then you have an immortal soul. So all of that is shown using diagrams in my book, The Mystery Explained, it's really, really, whenever you can see it, you're like a kid with a new toy. I'm not kidding wow. you. So this is the beginning, Genesis 1, 1, and this is the end. God is all in all, Revelation 15, 28. These are the three witnesses that I just showed you. In each case, the blood witness is going to continue to enlarge, enlarge, enlarge. Creation is going to be remade many, many times. It's made in Genesis 1-1, and it's remade again in Revelation 21-1, right? There's a new heaven and a new earth. Well, there's going to, and then Paul talks about how we're going to be blessed by God's grace for the ages to come, ages to come. And you go back to Ecclesiastes 1, start at 9, then the scriptures talk about the ages that were before us. So there were ages before us, and there are ages to come, and this is what's in between right here. So eventually, the only begotten Son... After creation is remade again and again and again, the Son's going to continue to enlarge until there's no more Father and there's no more Holy Spirit because the only begotten Son is going to become what? The Word again. Heaven, that's a singularity. That's what happens whenever the Son is subjected back to God. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 27. See, everything's subjected to the Son. Everything here goes back inside of here. And then the Son is subjected back to God. And God is... All in all. So this diagram shows the beginning and the end and everything that's in between. And the witnesses that are going to disappear, all of the spirit witnesses disappear. All of the water witnesses disappear by the, the end of time, the which scripture characterizes the ages of the ages. And it so everything starts off as like a, a belt. You know, like John the Baptist and the skins and the gird and the belt. That's how it begins, just a little sliver of consciousness and then continues to grow inside. This shows Christ in you and heaven in you. And that's what, you know, Christ says. Wow. Heaven, heaven is on the inside. And so it, this is page, you're just to page 54. So I know that you must be running. I'm looking at my clock and you're eight minutes till. Yeah, we're, we're getting a little. So all this is in the book, The Mystery Explained. Yeah, I can kind of just bring you through. Mount of Transfiguration, this is Adam, Eve, and the Lord. This is the Lord, Moses, and Elijah. This is the last, this is the first. Elijah is another skin for Adam. Moses and Noah and Bathsheba and Sarah are all skins for our mother Eve. So if you go to Zechariah 11, start at verse, no, Zechariah 4, start at 11, you'll see those two olive trees. Those two olive trees are Adam and Eve. And they're also the two witnesses of Revelation 11. Same powers as Elijah and Moses. Same exact powers because those are the original powers of the cultivators of the land. Adam and Eve had those powers. That Moses has those powers because Moses is, is a skin for Eve, drawn. Her, na her name means drawn, not because she's drawn out of the Nile River, because she was drawn out of the sight of Adam. That's why the Lord God put Moses in the cleft of the rock. He said, you want to see my glory? Okay. R moved your hand and then she could see his back, right? Well, see, I call Moses she because I know it's Eve. Because she was showing Eve the way it was in the garden when she was taken out the first time. So if the Lord God will show you all these things. He showed it to me a long, long time ago. Whenever you see the types, then the new inner man inside you grows up. You're going to be looking at the scriptures with a new set of eyes. And that's what the Lord's God for me done for me. And that's what I'm going to do for you guys if you get your hands on my book, The Mystery Explained. 
and watch the little introductory introductory videos and go to my YouTube page right here subscribe and go all the way to the back the first video describes the two Gospels of the New Testament and then whenever you read these newsletters that are in the Dropbox folder all the way back to 2019 there's a breadcrumb trail for you and whenever you as you're growing up and watching those videos and your Lord God's gonna show it to you and then you're gonna start seeing the scriptures the way I'm showing you right now so um, wow. that's my little mystery explained presentation I'm, I'm very glad that you let me sh you know share with you a little bit on this it's really really amazing stuff whenever the Lord God taps you on the shoulder and says okay son it's time for you you can see this now it's, re it's just really really great stuff this thrills my heart more than anything else in this life to share information on what God has shown me and again the only reason I can draw these diagrams is because God showed me it's his all his stuff it's all God's stuff and he's just letting me show it to you and then you can share it with other people and his intention is to reward us on the other side at the judgment seat of Christ well could, could I just be honest with you mr. Croft when I listened to you on um, when I listened to you on Josh's program I wasn't sure but now speaking to you directly I I feel really good about you and I'm gonna leave you with this one question when I there was a few times where I knew God worked and like he used me to do something. Um, once he told me to go somewhere, he was telling me, go here, go here. So finally, after three weeks, I went and I ended up at some lady's house who recently lost her son. They, they, he was a Christian and I was able to comfort her. And I felt like God was telling me, how does it feel to be used by God to do his work, like on a level like you are, drawing diagrams, understanding things that normal people, like, do you feel pr like privileged, honored? How, how does that make you feel? Extremely. The Lord God picked me to be, show me this stuff so I could show it to other people. So that's on the one side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, when he was showing me things and I was growing up, there was nobody else in the world that I could share it with that could understand what the heck I was talking about so mm. now that it's in diagrams and things it's a little easier now that there's subscribers and I have good friends like Gary and and other people he's asked me a thousand questions he comes over he relocated here from California and he sees these things as bit as well as anybody that I know of besides myself and he's chafing at the bit to help other people we may start our, a chat room like I used to have um, that's the one side of the coin it's just glorious really really love it on the other side of the coin then there's a lot of persecution that comes along mm -hmm. with it uh, but you just have to you know that's part of it that's that's part of it so if we're going to to have the glory that's worthy that we're worthy of, of the son of god you know we're going to judge the world and the angels then we're going to we're going to have to suffer in the likeness of christ suffering so mm -hmm. we should expect that that's going to happen that the devil's out there the devil's children's out there they're going to beat us they're going to spit on us they're going to spitefully use us and do terrible things to us but that is part of what makes us worthy and we, we and whenever that happens we're supposed to stand there and take it just like Christ did now whether they're beating on him keep on taking it and like Paul did whenever whenever they took Paul out of the city and they buried him under a pile of rocks they left him naked and the only reason they left him is because they thought he was dead otherwise they'd have kept stoning him but he crawled out from under those rocks and he walked back into the city see now hmm. that's kind of that's really really glory but you see Paul had that glory too because the Lord God showed him things he didn't show other people he revealed it to him but then you see the same way with Paul you're gonna get the persecution you know on the other side so it's a double-edged sword kind of thing but yeah. but in the end then I'm standing in in great glory in anticipation of like with the earth the earth is groaning right now in anticipation of our birth and we're right on the edge of that happening so whenever things have me down or something then I look forward in time and, and can see us our eyeballs looking back at this dark evil period that we're in right now there's gonna be nothing like what's happening now in the ages to come and the ages to come is so much different that the light whenever you look out in the space at night it's light there's you can't see the stars because it's so bright so when we're gonna tell people of our experience of looking out and seeing darkness and they're gonna not even know what we're talking about so we are we're, we're it's terrible that we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death and it's terrible that we're under the the wickedness of this evil that's above us but blessed is everybody that God taps on the shoulder for all the ages to see his wisdom but more blessed are we right now 
with this opportunity in this darkness, like we are seed planted in the dirt, in the darkness, mm -hmm. to be able to see these things, for God to tap us on the shoulder and say, son, you, okay, you can see this, because we're going to carry this experience with us to the ages of the ages and be able to help people and to see these things, because God chose us to be able to see them now. Whenever mm. nobody else around us can even see it, and they're even going to persecute us for even talking about it, then we keep talking about it anyway. You know, like Paul Amen. would. So that, that's so it's a double-edged sword thing, and you have your highs yeah. and you have your lows. You know, kind of. But when you sum it all up, then it's just really, really glorious. And I'm I'm very, very glad, happy, and even proud. You know, with some pride, godly pride, that the Lord God chose me to be able to share. You know, these things and share with you. You know, and with Josh and and. To be able to help people, this, this this is real. It's really real, and no, no human being came up with this stuff. This is definitely, most certainly, God's stuff. And again, I'm very privileged to be able to share it with you, Mr. Croft. I really appreciate your time. I honestly, like I said, I, I don't know. Just speaking to you directly, I just I don't know. I feel it now, like a lot more, and I, it was amazing. I I suggest everybody go out. You know, check out the Silva. You know, check out his plan fifty dollars. You get the assessment, you get the book, and do the research on the Silva. It's not snake oil. If you look it up in five minutes, you'll realize it has extreme health benefits. Um, I've done a little digging into it, and I'm really thinking about buying some. And anybody that's listening, that's just the truth. Uh, you know, I really don't know what my audience is because I do a lot of Christian stuff, but I also do a lot of truth to stuff. If you're not a Christian, please take a shot. Give your life to Jesus. Ask him to show you. Ask him to open your eyes and then eventually accept him as your Lord and Savior. And I'm telling you, your eyes will be open. Like Mr. Croft, my eyes have been open since 2012. I've seen the evil. I've seen it growing and it's only gotten extremely worse over the past you know 12 years so again mr croft thank you so much i really had such a great time i really enjoyed this i'm gonna go get the book and i'm probably gonna get the silver so i appreciate your time and i god bless you and your family and i hope you make it to the end when i see you in heaven i hope you you know you're there with your your, your badge on your chest and i'm gonna give you a hug and a high five amen brother Looking forward to that very, very much. So you let me know when you're ready to do something again. I'll come and share. Absolutely. I would love that. Thank you so much, Mr. Croft. You're very, very welcome. Have a good night and God bless. You too. Recording stopped. Thanks again. I, I really enjoyed that. I, re I did. I, I felt it more talking to you directly. I, I understood it more and should have seen the... Um, how you did those layouts? I mean, I, I there's something there. I'm I'm definitely gonna dig into it. Okay, so just write me again whenever you want to share, and it can be on the Black Star, it can be on the Mystery Explained, it can be on 9/11. There's there's a lot of topics that I cover as okay. a researcher. So whatever it is that you want, and then I'm I, I know all these topics like the back of my hand. So you can just leave me around with your questions in any way that you want to go. And you got okay. my email address, so you just let me know, and I'll get you on the schedule. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, and I'll definitely be in touch. Okay. So you have a great evening. Right. You too. God bless. God bless you. Okay. Really, really nice guy, isn't he? Really like him. I was going to, right off the beginning, going to say, you must be from Massachusetts. You could tell by his, by his accent. And he seemed to be more accepting of the three witnesses and then typical, of, you know, what I generally get. So I really, really enjoyed that. And I could see that he wanted more information on the, um, on Nanosilver. And I could not for the life of me find my, I should have just gone to my website right here and clicked on this how-to button. Because this is how to mix and store and use. This is what I needed to share with him. So... This is my second interview for today. For the day, it's the first time that I've had two interviews like this in quite some time. I think it's about back 2012. So I've had two interviews in a day. It came up, came about by accident because Josh had me written down for the wrong day. So that's uh, now it's 7:04 p.m. Central Time here in the Ozarks. So um, I'm going to be shutting this down. See if 
if I get, uh, see if I can get this uploaded to the channels and the website is going to be updated and things tomorrow. And that's it. Get more information right here at terrell03.com and over here at substack.com. Appreciate your support very, very much. Get more information right here at, at the, well, I should probably show you. You can get a copy of my book, The Mystery Explained. This is autographed by me, numbered version, first edition author's copy. And it uh, it costs more than what it, you can get it over here at you, what you can get over here. But you can see it's 66 bucks, but I pay like $54 from the publisher and then ship it to me and then ship it to you. And so I know it seems like a lot, but whenever you get your hands on the Mystery Explain, the hardcover, thick pages, you have to, the reason, one of the reasons that it costs so much is because the, the ink bleeds through on the 80 color coded diagram so it had to have the most expensive paper the thickest stuff to be published that's one of the reasons why but once you get your hands on it then you're gonna see it is well well worth it so that's um, I showed you how to subscribe and everything during the interview and how to contact me if you if you need to if you want to I did not mention before EMP shield with what's about to happen then there's the coupon code, which is just the website minus the dot, terrell03.com, and protect your vehicle, protect your house. The electromagnetic pulse is coming, and you're going to want to be protected on the other side of what's about to happen. I highly recommend it, and whenever you use this code, you get $50 off each device. And that's it. Appreciate your support again. Get more information right here at terrell03.com. And I'll see you on the next Black Star Update report, which will likely be coming out on Monday. Whoa. I was pushing the wrong button <laughs> because of this full screen thing. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next Black Star Update report.